I'm Shauna Lawhorn with the League of Women Voters of San Francisco. Along with the League and SFGov TV, I'm here to discuss Proposition K, a ballot measure that will be before the voters on Tuesday, November 3rd. San Francisco has a policy of using real property the city does not need, surplus property, to build affordable housing. Every year, city departments are required to identify surplus property. The city transfers the surplus property to the mayor's office, which then determines if the property is suitable for affordable housing. Proposition K would expand the allowable uses of surplus property to include building affordable housing for a range of households, from those with very low income to those with incomes up to 120% of the area median income. In surplus property developments with 200 or more units, it would allow mixed income projects that include affordable housing for households earning up to 120% of the area median income, housing for households earning up to 150% of the area median income, and housing with no income limitations. It would maintain exemptions for city property controlled by the Recreation and Parks Commission, the Port, the Airport, the Public Utilities Commission, and the Municipal Transportation Agency. A yes vote means you want the city to expand the allowable uses of surplus property to include building affordable housing for a range of households. A no vote means that you do not want to make these changes. I'm here with Peter Cohen. He's co-director of the Council of Community Housing Organizations and a proponent of Proposition K. We're also joined by Marcy Berry, vice chair of the Libertarian Party of San Francisco and an opponent of the measure. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Shana. I'd like to start with some opening remarks, and we're going to start with you, Marcy. Thank you. First, thank you very much for having us present our views. Uh, the Libertarian Party of San Francisco appreciates it. Regarding Proposition K, indeed, the city absolutely does need to do something about unused or underused property. The city has a, an immense amount of these properties out there that something needs to be done. However, it seems to us, from my point of view of small government and very strict constitutional ideas, that perhaps this is not the way to go. And here's what we think. I think that this proposal significantly expands the description of what it means to be homeless. It significantly expands what it means to need affordable housing. Well, obviously, in a city like San Francisco, we could all use subsidy. But when the government is subsidizing somebody that makes $122,000 a year, um, maybe that's going too far. Thank you, Marcy. Uh, Peter? Well, thank you, Shauna. Uh, Prop K, the surplus, plan, uh, surplus public lands measure, very simply asked the voters to make clear to city government at this time, of an affordable housing crisis like we've never seen before, that the most important use for public lands when they become surplus is for affordable housing. Um, un unlike my opponent, uh, it's very clear to us that what this does is expand the potential use of surplus lands from being for homeless to families to seniors to middle income residents to teachers. We have, unfortunately, have a very wide and increasing range of San Franciscans who are shut out of our housing market. And we need to provide affordable housing for them at all their various income levels. And this measure updates and strengthens existing policies and makes clear that affordable housing should be a priority use. Thank we you. ask you to vote for Prop K. Thank you, Peter. So we're going to start with the questions. And the first question, we're going to start with Peter. Um, as we have heard from both of you, there's clearly a demand for more affordable housing here in San Francisco. Do you think Proposition K does enough to address this problem? Does it go too far? What would you change about the proposition if you could? Well, it certainly doesn't go too far. The demand for affordable housing is, is uh, tremendous, but it makes a big dent. In a city with 47 square miles, it's one of the most land-constrained cities in the country and certainly in the Bay Area, one of the most precious things we have is, is, is land. And it's difficult to create affordable housing when you don't have sites. And so being able to use city-owned surplus sites is really an excellent resource. And it could make a big difference. Marcy, how do you respond to that? Obviously, our, we, we're totally in agreement that this is a very expensive city. However, where we differ is, for example, the calling this affordable while we call it subsidized. 
subsidized means that somebody pays for this. This is it enough? Well, the numbers that are quoted are not static numbers. As you offer these benefits, an obvious thing happens in that people from other places will come in, and so they will never be enough. So you can say, well, it's a dent. A dent in what? Because you have people coming in as these people are being taken care of. So is it enough? Is it something that you would like to change? I would like to change it to how it was you know, 20 years ago. Just take care of the people who truly need it and let the free market take care of everything else. Thank you. So question number two. Um, when talking about expanding who will be able to be part of the affordable housing under this measure, is there a danger that we won't be able to provide enough housing to homeless or very low income people? Uh, or do we think that now expanding we'll be able to just provide more housing to everyone and this is you know, a great solution? What do you think, Mercy? Paid by what? What we mean by that is the city is going to provide this amount of money that's going to come from taxes, yours, mine, yours too, Peter, is going to provide the housing, the subsidized housing for all these people. And so it's not a question that, well, once we provide the housing, then prosperity ensues, because this is doing nothing for productivity. As a closed system, the economy, uh, at this level, we're not talking about the federal economy. The local economy is a closed system. So that means that unless there is an increase in productivity, th there is nothing that's happening except that one person gets, the other person loses. Th there is no such thing as a, an increase of well-being overall. So no, yeah, it, it, my, the, uh, the straight answer to the question is no, I don't think there will be an increase in productivity or or benefit overall. Peter, how do you address that question? Well, the unfortunate reality is that our housing market, our so-called free market, uh, as Marcy refers to it, has left more and more San Franciscans behind. And uh, if the proposal is to actually somehow change the market so that it can actually produce the housing that's needed, um, I'd be interested to hear the proposal. The reality is we are where we are. We have a housing market that is now so expensive, well over a million dollars for a condo, well over $3,000 a month simply for a one bedroom apartment. It means that the city, public policy, and the broad citizenry of San Francisco are gonna have to take care of each other unless you wanna have a city that's only for the uber rich and the poorest of the poor. So given that reality, being able to use land as one way, not the silver bullet, but one way to actually address our affordable housing crisis for Again, folks from homeless all the way through middle-income families, I think it's a very smart way to go about it. It's not the panacea, but we have to do something, and this is a very significant measure. Okay, great. We're gonna go into some final remarks, so we'll start with you, Peter. Well, Proposition K is supported by the entire elected uh, leadership of San Francisco. It was put on the ballot by the Board of Supervisors and the Mayor of San Francisco. It's supported by both our assembly members uh, Ting and Chu, as well as Senator Mark Leno, it's very clear to all of them that we need to do everything we can do, not just a couple of things, but everything we can do to address the affordability crisis in San Francisco. We have an existing surplus lands policy in San Francisco, but it hasn't been very effective. It needs to be strengthened. There needs to be more transparency to the process. There needs to be a broader range of beneficiaries, and there needs to be more accountability to the city that we're gonna use our land for our greatest public need, which is housing. So we ask you to support Proposition K as one strong uh, effort to try to address our housing crisis. Final remarks, Mercy. Thank you. Uh, our, let me explain our concern, and that will be my final remarks. First is the fact that we seem to be saying, as a, actually as a group, not only Peter here, that we need to do something. My question is, is that so? Doesn't the market take care of it? And who produced the U cities with the very rich and the very poor policies that were in place to begin with? And uh, like, for instance, um, 
uh, tax breaks for all these companies. Who produced that? It wasn't the market, it was the legislation. And so the legislation produces problems and then problems need to be solved with more legislation, not good. Another thing, another part of the concern is of course is the, the, the brotherhood that's developing between uh, developers and the city. Uh, don't forget that this stuff is not going to be sold at market rate. It's going to be sold at less than market rate. So taxpayers paid market rate, we, you guys are going to sell it for below market rate. Thank you, Marcy. And thank you both for your comments and for your time. We hope that this discussion has been informative. For more information on this and other ballot measures in this year's election, please visit the San Francisco Elections website at sfelections.org. Remember, early voting is available at City Hall Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can also vote at City Hall on the two weekends before Election Day. And if you don't vote early, be sure to vote on Tuesday, November 3rd. Thank you for watching.